What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. So as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about editing a photo on a Chromebook. Now the reason I wanted to do this video is because I just wanna show that you can do these kind of things on a Chromebook. But I also wanna show people what you can expect. Now as for apps on the Play Store that can be used to edit photos on a Chromebook, there are quite a few, but we're gonna be talking specifically about Adobe Photoshop Lightroom CC. Now before we jump into this video, I do wanna let everyone know I'm not a professional photo editor, so if there's anything that seems kind of confusing, I apologize in advance. But again, the purpose of this video is just to show people that this is something you can do on a Chromebook. You can edit photos, and it's really just to show just how much you can edit photos. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead, let's get into it. So to start things off, we're gonna open up the Google Play Store and we don't have to search for this app if you have a Chromebook. What you'll see here is a category that'll say apps for your Chromebook. And as you can see here, we're gonna have Adobe Photoshop Lightroom to the far right here and we can click on that. Now, as you can see, this is going to be a free app so we can go ahead and hit the install button. Now again, this app is free, but there is a monthly subscription of $4.99 that unlocks extra features such as photo backup, photo access across devices, and extra editing tools. Now just like some apps, we're going to have an intro here that's going to give us kind of a background on this app. And if you're interested, you can slow this down and read up on this here but it's all pretty straightforward. Now, the nice thing about Adobe Photoshop Lightroom CC is you can sign in with an Adobe account or you can sign in with Facebook or Google. Now, because we are using a Chromebook and we are using Android apps, I just go ahead and sign in with Google. Now, once you're signed in, you'll end up at the main screen here of the app. And as you can see, it's going to have a very simple user interface with a dark theme. And this is a plus because it's going to be very easy on the user's eyes. When at this main screen, I had the brightness all the way up and didn't have any problems. Now, to get started on editing our photos, we're going to have to add some to Lightroom CC. And that's done by clicking on the area where it says add your photos. Now, we're going to have to give Lightroom CC permission to access photos, media, and files on the device. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the allow button. Now with this app, you can select multiple photos or you can select just one, and then you just go ahead and hit the add button. Now we can also add photos in Lightroom CC by creating a new album. And as you see, we've got the album category with a plus sign underneath. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then we'll get this little menu at the bottom of the screen in the middle. That'll say create new album and we'll click on that. And then we'll give our created album a name. Now, once we've created the album, we can add photos to that album by clicking on the album itself. And as you can see, this album is going to be empty. Now to add photos to it, we're going to click the blue circle icon here in the bottom right with the picture and that will allow us to add photos from our device. And we're just going to go ahead and add the same photo that I already added. Now, if we go back to the main screen here, we can either edit a photo from all photos or we can edit a photo from the Pixelbook and Samsung Pen album. Now for this video, I'm just going to edit a photo from the album. So we'll open it and we'll click on the image and that will allow us to start the editing process for this photo. So when it comes to editing, we'll start things off on the far right here by clicking our first option, and that is gonna give us editing tools for light, color, effects, and optics. So we can go ahead and open up the first menu here, and it's kind of like a drop-down menu, and you click on that and you'll see all the options you have just for that one category. Now for those who like simple edits, there is an auto button that you can just click on and it'll automatically make changes for the user if you just want a simple edit. You don't really wanna do much work. Now, as you can see, we are going to have a notification come on the screen here and we can tap and hold on the image to show before and after. So holding on it, you'll see before and letting go will show after. 
Now, of course, you can undo the auto edit by clicking the undo icon in the top menu bar, and that'll bring the image back to where it was before. There's also this nice squiggly icon that when you click on it, it brings up a bar on the page, and you can drag that bar around depending on where you're clicking on it in the image. We've also got these buttons here at the bottom. They can be dragged around to do some more editing just to get the image just how you would like it. And again, if we don't like any of this, we can hit that undo button. Now, if you're someone who wants more precision, you can go into each category and move some of these buttons around here to get the desired effect that you're looking for. And it'll just be more precise. There's also a feature in here where you can change the color of this line in the image. Again, this is the line that you drag around here. And it looks like it adds more of the color that you select. So for example, I selected blue there and it turns the image more blue. If we select green, I imagine it's gonna turn it more green. And if we select red, that's going to turn it more red. And I don't really do photo editing, so I'm not really sure why the reason is that you'd wanna do this. But if anyone knows, just let me know in the comments below. I just find it interesting and would like to know why. Moving on to the next category here, we'll have color. So we'll click on that and again, We'll have a drop down menu. Now, I don't know what all these features do again, but we are going to be sharing them just so everyone knows what you can expect from this app on a Chromebook. Now, the first thing we have here is going to be being white. Now that sounds pretty self-explanatory. That should be black and white, and that's what that does. Now we can also adjust white balance, I think you would call it for all these different categories. We have temp, tent, vibrance, saturation. Again, if I'm saying any of this wrong, feel free to correct me, that kind of thing. But as you can see, we can drag these sliders around here and that'll make changes to the photo. Moving on to the next category here, we'll have effects. And this one's kind of weird because you have to adjust the clarity, the dehaze, and I'm going to try to pronounce this. I'm probably going to say it wrong, but it could be Vignay amount or Vignay, one of those. So go easy on me. Don't hate in the comment section. Again, we're showing this off and I really don't know much about photo editing, but you can drag these items around here. And as you drag them around, they open up the other areas here. So now we can adjust the midpoint, we can feather, we can do roundness. Now, if we drag these icons around just the right amount, we can also get the highlight category to show up. Now, I don't really know why all this shows up the way it does. And there may be people who also don't know. So if you know, why all of this affects other areas of the photo, please let us know. I would certainly be interested to know because I know very little about photo editing. The last menu we have here in this category will be optics. We click on that and this will just have the option for enabling lens correction. And we can click on that and I don't know if this is really going to be doing much. It looks like it's zooming the picture in out just a little bit. It's, it's almost not even noticeable, but there's that feature as well. Now, moving on here, this is kind of weird how this menu on the right side is organized, but our next option is to upgrade now. So they don't put that at the end. They kind of put that right in the middle. So we're gonna close out of that. Moving on to the next category here, it's going to be the crop category. And there's going to be some other features in here as well. But you're going to start with the option of crop and it's nice and smooth movement here. And it's pretty quick. And as you crop in, you can also crop back out. And if you don't like what you did, we can also hit the undo button a few times there. 
We can also change the aspect ratio. Right now it's set on original, but we can set it to custom. We can set it to one by one, five by four, 11 by eight and a half, anything like that. We can also rotate the image with some icons here. We could do that going 90 degrees left or 90 degrees right. We can also flip the image horizontally or we can flip it vertically. And we can also straighten the image. Now, I'm pretty sure this is not how it's supposed to work. It's probably difficult for it to know what's straight because of the placemats that I have on the table here. But if this was an issue, we can also straighten the image by rotating it. We've got a nice degree wheel here, and it looks like it goes a max of 45 degrees. So you probably won't ever need more than that anyways. Now, the last thing we have here on the right is going to be the circle and circle icon. It kind of looks like an eclipse. And if we click on that, what we have there is some presets and you can just click on each one. And it's kind of like an auto edit. It's just super fast, super efficient. Again, just for someone looking for something that's going to be fairly quick. Now, I like these kind of things because again, I'm not really a professional photo editor. I just want to do something really quick. And this will give me something that I probably will desire and won't take much work from me. So all we have to do is click the preset that we want and hit that done button and that'll be it. All right, so as we wrap up this video, I just wanna talk about a few things that I like about Adobe Photoshop Lightroom CC. And the first thing is obviously that minimalist user interface. Now the simple user interface is also important because most Chromebook users are looking for just a very simple experience when it comes to Chromebook. And having an app like this with a simple setup is going to go a long way. Now there is a downside to Adobe Photoshop Lightroom CC, and again, that is there is a subscription of $4.99 a month. Now if you're like me and you're looking to do some photo editing that's probably more on the basic side, and you're looking for something that is rich in features and is also free, there is Google's very own Snapseed, and I actually use that to edit my cover photos for my YouTube videos. If you would like to see me do a video on photo editing with Google Snapseed, make sure you leave a comment below. So as for Adobe Photoshop Lightroom CC, I think it's pretty good. Again, I'm not a professional. I can't say that it's going to work for the professional. But again, the main point of this video is just to show that you can do some photo editing on a Chromebook and just to let people know what you can expect. So maybe this would be more than enough for the average user, but it may not be enough for a professional or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it would be great for a professional. So just if you can, let me know in the comments below what you think if you're a professional you know, share any thoughts about what you've seen in the video or let us know if this would work for someone who's more experienced, who's more on the advanced side of photo editing. And if you're a beginner, also leave a comment below and let us know what you think. So that is pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below. And if you can, hit that subscribe button. It'll support the channel. These videos, they take time and money, and it'll help us out. And until next time, Leon checking out.